What's going on guys, it's Water back with another video. Today this is going to be a little bit of a different video. We're going to be looking at this Rocket League footage and ana analyzing it and what we could have done to do it better. Okay, so let's get right into it. You missed the kickoff here, but now we can get into it. So, a lot of Rocket League is going to be boost or no <laughs> mechanics and game sense and you know rotating and stuff like that so you can see right here I go for a center weak center I miss the ball and that's gonna come with mechanics he goes for a shot there that's a great save by the goalie okay and I probably not that qualified to do this video because you know I'm only a diamond on Xbox. I'm only a s silver and twos on Rocket League. I gotta have to play more of Rocket League, but that's a good pass by Red there. And yeah, it just ends up in a goal. What the defense could have done here, I don't know. I would have hit it to the corner. So, or I mean, I think I would have hit it to the corner. When you're in the game, you really don't. You can't tell. But yeah, if you would, if he would have hit it to the corner, it would have got it out of the center and. He probably could have got a clear. Kickoffs, you just got to practice those. He probably could have beat it there, but he didn't hit the ball. You can see Red there just like following it, making sure he can't get a shot and a good bump from him there. And I just get a decent clear there from the 50. And that was probably a bad touch. I probably should have let Red get it. So that was my fault. But that's a good clear. See, I'm just watching what he's doing right now. Just sitting back. And that's why, just in case they get a good clear. But I wasn't quick enough. That was a good shot by him, knowing I was going for boost. So he just booms it into the net. It's a great job by him. So, yeah, you really, for boost management, you just want to wanna grab those little pads. They're very important. People don't realize it. But yeah, it's a good touch by him. And his teammate is patient, but it was a good effort. And I go for another center here. It's very important to, you know, play with your teammate. A lot of lower ranked twos players play like they don't even have a teammate, and they just go for dribble shots all the time. And that might work, but yeah, it's not. This is gonna be a lot better for you. If you just both keep taking turns attacking almost. But yeah, I go back for boost, let him push. And I knew that he was going to try and take a shot there. But he kind of hit it a little weak. Here I go for another clear. It's lagging a little bit and red gets a good clear. And I missed the boost because I'm a bot. So I probably shouldn't have pushed that. I probably should have went back, but... I did what I could with the zero boost and it worked out fine. And there I could have scored it if I just took my time there a little bit, but might get it here. Oh yeah. That that was a little lucky, honestly. I probably could have just took a like a slightly better shot. And red was right in the middle, so I could have passed it to him or something, but it worked out, so Okay, kickoffs. You wanna really try and like if you're up there in the higher ranks, you want to try and get like to where you can manipulate the kickoffs. If you can get it to go right almost every time and you can tell the player you're playing with that it's going right, that's going to you're going to win the kickoff a lot of the times. Okay, you see red air dribbling. That's just going to come with mechanics. A lot of people won't get that. But I jumped a little too late, so I didn't get that great of a touch on it. Even though I could have boomed it, and that's a really good shot from Chili. He just kind of, you know, he took his time with it. Uh, okay, I can't read his name, but whoever passed it to him, he took his time with it, got it over us, and his teammate was ready to score it. So, okay, we go right, get kickoff. I shouldn't have pushed that, but I thought I could get the 50. 
it wasn't that bad, but here he had a good clear. And there, good job by his teammate pushing that. And I don't really know what happened at the goal, but he was just, Red was all alone. He just got bullied, really. It was a good double touch. Yep, he tried to clear it. I mean, it, you'd never really know how to do that in game. It just come with practice and stuff. But I go left. Here, I miss again. That's just going to come with time. You're going to get your mechanics and stuff. It's a good clear for red. You can see he's just kind of waiting in the goal because he knows that I can't save it if he misses. But yeah, it's a good center too. I wasn't really ready. I didn't have boost. That's why those little pads are really important for you to pick up. You want to really memorize where those are on the map. Okay, I just waited in red. Red probably could have left that for me to boom, but it's fine that he didn't because it worked out kind of. It's a nice little pinch. The guy on the other team probably should have let it. I hit that a little bit too hard. I was trying to pass it to him, but yeah, that's gonna happen. I did not see him coming up for that either. It was a good, it was a good clear from the blue team. As you can see, I'm just kind of foreshadowing almost. I'm just waiting for something to happen when I'm back there. You don't always have to be pushing the ball when you're on twos. And that's what a lot of players, you know, happen. It's a nice little pre-flip thing. I don't know if you can call that. So close to tying up the game there. But it was a good block, I guess you could call it. I don't think he tried to do that. But as you can see here, you always want to keep playing. You never know if you can get a nice goal or something come back. But, yeah, let's get right in the next one. Even though we lost that one, there's still a lot of stuff we could have done better there. Or whatever. This one should be better, I think. But, yeah. Okay, gets in, sloppy kickoff for me, but I just tried to, like, touch it there, you know, just to get it out of the center, but it's a good thing I didn't. It's almost a shot by Red. I just let him keep attacking there, because, yeah, and then he died, so I can push this out all I want, and he should be able to defend. So there he is right there, and he could have done a little bit more with that but you know it was good dribbling from the blue team and I'm just waiting for him to try and center it and <laughs> that's complete luck uh yep that's just complete luck right there nothing really to be said not skill at all I just stayed in the air because I because I was already there so yep and for kickoffs you really want to uh, address this with whoever you're playing with. You won't, even if you don't know them, if you're not in a voice call. Yep, there is another mechanics thing. You know, the more you play, the more times you're gonna be able to hit that shot. Okay, so I didn't think he was gonna hit it there at first, but I just let him do do his thing up there, and I just wait just in case I he misses or they get it past him. You can see, I'm. Doing a good job of getting boost. This guy kind of just leads me off track. We're both trying to go the same way. I just let Red do his thing here. It's a good pass from him. I wasn't exactly prepared for it, but it was still a good idea. Okay. See it now. We both messed up there. I probably should have came up. And that's a big thing in rotate rotating. You always want somebody attacking the ball most times. And I shouldn't have came up there. Because probably could have stayed back and got a nice clear. Because they both double committed. You never want to do that, obviously. Red probably pushed up a little bit too far, but it ended up working. But if I missed there, it probably would have ended up in a blue team goal. Or if I, you know, did something bad there, if I just hit it to him. But it didn't, and it ended up in a goal, and it was a good read. And yep, it was a good pass and play. Again, misjudged if he was coming up too fast or whatever but Red does a good job of doing what he can without wasting too much boost or I don't think he has boost and there's a good pinch right there and I just go up here and I wait to see what he's doing with it and I thought he would miss and then Red comes up and I just let him do his thing here I just wait for a center or something and that there's the goal patience is key 
in Rocket League. You gotta have patience, or you're probably gonna m miss a lot, or not miss a lot, but you know, what I mean, double commit and do all that kind of stuff. But yeah. And another goal. Or, I mean, kickoff right to him. He's able to boom that. Missed the boost again because I'm a bot. And yeah, that was just a really, really good pinch, I guess you could say. He definitely didn't try to do that, but he hit the ball towards the net when I was going for boost, so he read that pretty good. Okay, I'm sitting here waiting for something to happen. I go for a little bit of like a double touch thing, but and it kind of worked, so I guess, yeah. I mean, I can go for these kind of things. Because I know Red's going to be back, so it doesn't matter if I go back. Because I know he's not up enough to where he could just come up and, like, get ready for a score it. So, yeah, I just go for it again. And in most cases, you don't want to cut around the rotation. But, as you can see, these guys are getting a little mad at each other. You definitely don't want to do that. Don't get mad at your teammates. It's just a game, even if you're losing games or whatever. I go for, like, a little flip thing here off the ceiling. Kind of worked. I don't know. They were both back there, but Red's going to be here for my miss, and I'm going to be here for his center. And there you go. It was a good pass, and blue team, they were both in the same spot. You never really want to do that, but it happens. And these guys are getting really toxic with each other. And that's just not, it's not what you want to do. It's 5-1 to one with two minutes left, so I mean... They could come back, though. You never want to give up. But, like, if they're going to be, like, toxic like that, they're not probably not going to come back. Okay, so I just take my time here. I know I have a, a little bit with it before they push me, and I just try to get it around the first guy and let Red go for it. And I just go back to boost because that was the only thing available for me. I go up. I try to go for a little bit of a double tap here, but I missed. And it kind of faked him. And then he missed, too, so... Again, that's going to come with time. Your mechanics are going to get better, but there you go. Nice little thing. I thought I could get up there, and red wasn't back, so, I mean, that's just that's just me missing it, really. It can happen to anybody, really. And that's just going to be a miscommunication. It happens. So red's on the right side. I'm going to go to the left boost, because usually... Usually that's what me and Red do when we play. We just try to kick it to like the opposite side. It's another center. I could have got if I read it a little bit better. And that one too. I didn't think he was going to be able to hit that back center. But that's fine. And yep. We probably shouldn't have pushed back up. But like I guess we got confident because we were up by so much. And they were missing and stuff. They probably could have scored that easily. They just took their time a little bit. I got in front of the boost, so he he has none. I spawn right here, so I can just hit hit him into it. And yeah, now I just wait. I thought red would come up, but I stopped it a little bit, and I can hit that. Go for boost quick. Let red. One thing in Rocket League, you always want to trust your teammates. You always want to trust your teammates, because if you don't, then it's just gonna be, it's gonna be really bad, because. Like, you don't want to overtrust them. You still want to rotate. Like, sometimes you want to still expect the unexpected. But if you don't trust them, then they're probably just going to... They're going to play worse, probably, because... Yeah. I'm not going to explain that anymore. But, yeah, just trust your teammates. And then, yeah. As you can see, he got a good center, but... I was just going a little fast, and he must have thought I wasn't that far up. So, he was trying to stall a little bit, I think. And then it ended up in us both being up there. I can say if you if you center the ball, you probably just want to go straight back. Unless, like, your teammate is already back. But, yeah. Nobody went for the kickoff. These guys were pretty much done. They didn't want to play anymore. And, yeah. That's going to be the end of the game. So, if you want to enter our giveaway, make sure to follow us on Instagram. It will be in the description. It's going to be a 50 subscriber giveaway for Rocket League and for ROTMG. So if you want a free Magma or a free mainframe, it'll be for PC and for Xbox. And yeah, so that's going to be all. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.